taking place perfectly. So your prayer is directly linked with biochemistry of digestion. How beautiful it is. Suppose just like you are taking, just like Kerala is the exporter. You know, he hands it the whole, holds that food and takes so fast that it is time for him to go up. So you take it so fast, need not be taken. The food we have to take slowly, systematically, steadily, without losing even a single bit of that, with the respect, this psychological effect, plus biochemical effect, combined in this prayer. So when we see like this, everybody, I repeatedly would like to say, every atheist, every CPM, every DMK, they will automatically follow that because we are talking about biochemistry. Holy spirituality is connected there. So like that, every Indian variety, then I say, you have to chant a mantra, Gayatri mantra, it should not be chanted as though the bus is waiting for you. You have to chant slowly. Om Bhor Bhoswaha Om Tat Savidur Varenyam Hargo Devasya Dhimani Dhiyo Yona Prajodaya Adar That is the way in which it should be chanted. Even this neuro-linguistic effect nervous system gets activated and when the nervous system gets activated curative chemicals are produced in the brain curative chemicals and curative chemicals are produced in the brain the body gets comfort full comfortability you can feel that curative effect is produced so mantras have got one neuro linguistic effect second one psycho linguistic effect so when we say this Anybody who, is, who knows mantra, they start chanting every morning very systematically. Otherwise, somewhere some people used to chant some the mantra means they don't chant mantras at least very, very fast. This is not the chanting of mantra. This is automatic progression. This is automatic this is arithmetic progression. When this arithmetic progression becomes mantra, when it has got srubi, Eka chame, isras chame, pancha chame, sapta chama nava chama, Eka dasha chame, trayoda cha chame, pancha dasha chame. Arithmetic progressions become mantra when it has got srubi. Without srubi, it does not. So, mantra chanting has got a sadharanamaya, psychological and linguistic nervous system in the effect on that. So we have to chant mantra or kirtanas loudly, clearly, in such a way that there are three types of chanting mantras and kirtanas. You may be knowing that. First one, bahya effect is more. You imagine that seven people are sitting. One yourself, second, third, fourth, five, six and seven. One way of chanting mantra for Nama Sankirtana, you chant loudly in such a way that up to the seventh person can hear it. Up to the seventh person can hear it. Its advantage is that external effect is more, internal effect is less. Next one, you are chanting the mantra in such a way that up to the third person can hear third person. Internal effect is equal to external effect. External surrounding. The third way of chanting mantra only you can hear. Not even the second person. Internal effect is maximum. External effect is minimum. What is this external and internal? You may be knowing that. When we conclude the mantra chanting, we say Om Shanti Shanti, Shanti. Why we say three Shanti? Is it not one Shanti enough? We say Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Three Shanti are there. What is the meaning of three Shanti? One Shanti, Adhyatmika Shanti, inside. Second Shanti, Adi Bhautika Shanti, surrounding you. Third Shanti, Adi Devata Shanti. 
all surrounding you environmental suppose you are living in a home there adhyatmika shanti effect on your body adhi bhautika shanti surrounding inside your house there should be peace tranquility and calm internal calmness external inside the house adhi devata shanti all that surrounding you the air the water the cloud celestial bodies the uh, the hills the oceans the trees everything surrounding you so you are looking for an integrated tranquility integrated calmness from all and everywhere so that is why we say in ayurveda irayascha me parvadascha me vanaspadayascha me ochadayascha me aushadi vanaspadi giri parvada everything is included not only that including you are also included you know nava sabhya sabhavadeyascha if a meeting is taking place here also we used to do that the namaskar which way in ayurveda it tells namas sabhavya those who are sitting here i namaskaram namas sabhavadeyascha if a chairman is here very much we know chairman so the chairman would have been there for him i am doing namaskaram namas swabhyo jagratyascha those who are sleeping in the meeting those who are sleeping here for them also i am doing my namaskar namo jagratyascha those who are not sleeping for them also i am namaskar namas tishtatyo those who are feeling bored and getting up for going out namas tishtatyo for them i am my namaskar namo dhavatyascha those who are going out boycotting for them also my namaskar so we look in the great temple everywhere we do totally nama pujyaste eyo nishade bhyascha for the fisherman for the hunter everything nama kulale eyo dharmale eyo bhyascha those who are making the pots those who are head lord or that for him also it must come so we look integrated so that's why we say om shanti 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 when we analyze this and tell to the people very serious effect in their face very systematic way of understanding that we can see like that every concept of indian knowledge we can explain we have to explain based on the studies carried out researches carried out inside india in india as well as outside india varieties of literature available on the research carried out here Sometimes all grandmas used to say, "Don't put your head when lying in the bed." But according to the level check, I can tell you, my grandma said, "Then people say, I am an atheist. I am a religionvadiya. I am going to put my head only towards top, not thinking that the Delhi is in the top direction. But still, I put my head not. The dangerous effect is very well, well studied now. The reason is that our body." They have got nine grams of iron mixed with the hemoglobin. Hemoglobin takes blood into hemoglobin takes oxygen to every part of our body. That is hemoglobin takes oxygen to every part of our body. Below the neck, all blood vessels have got enough diameter. Diameter is reasonably good below the neck, but above the neck, your brain. the blood is carried to the brain through capillaries whose diameter is almost equal to the diameter of your hair diameter of the blood vessel which carries blood to the brain is almost equal to the hair or slightly more than that so what happens hemoglobin has got iron hemoglobin is susceptible for the magnetic field when you are lying putting your head towards north Earth's magnetic field is affected. This movement of the uh, hemoglobin, so the diameter of the capillary of the brain is less. That hemoglobin is attracted by the Earth's magnetic field. So you are lying down. Heart functioning is very slow, not very fast. So the pumping of the blood to the brain slowly retards, and the hemoglobin. Gets retarded in its movement, 
in the brain, net result is that if you are sleeping like this for 6 to 8 hours, the availability of oxygen to the brain cells will be slightly decreased. The moment the availability of oxygen to the brain cell reduces, automatically the memory power, thinking power, activation activity, it produces. The result is that if it is a school student lying like that, continuously for weeks together, whatever he studies, he may not be able to study correctly. And he will be getting irritated every morning. He gets really a quarreling type of tendency and he comes, gets up and takes the bath. And then not only that, severe headache is one of the result of that. So Achara tells you, don't put your head towards not in that. Biochemistry tells you, if you are putting head towards not in that direction, this problem will be done. Then what is best? Follow the Achara, put your head towards eastern direction and study well, be happy, live as long as you can live. So Achara is good, scientific explanation is just like that. When we are going to the temple, we have got Achara plus fewer signs in that. I would like to remind you one thing. Going to temple has got extremely high level of spiritual benefits. It has also got scientific benefit. So spiritual benefit can never be belittled. At the same time, scientific benefit it has got tremendous explanation is not difficult at all. I will give you point by point what is meant by temple worship. You know, temples we call Chetram. What is the meaning of Chetram? Chaya, Trayade, Iti, Chetra. Whatever is protecting you from destruction, Chayam. That is what is called Chetram. Chaya, Trayade, Iti, Chetra. Whatever is protecting you from Chayam, Asham, or destruction, that is called Chetram. Second definition of Chetra, idam shayiram kaunteya, Chetra mitya vidiyade. This definition is called by, given by Lord Krishna during 3140 BC, that is 5140 years ago, to Arjuna in Kurukshetra, who? In Kurukshetra battlefield, this body is called Chetra. So when we call that as Guru Ayana Pramchetra, it is something equivalent to our body. We have to take food, we have to give food them. We have to take bath, we have to give Abhishek of them. We have to be encouraged, motivated. There also the Padatana encouragement, motivation, everything is required. We should be motivated by saying good words, their mantras are to be chanted. Like that, body, and the temple are connected. Third definition, Vigraha. What is the meaning of Vigraha? Visheshena, Graha Yitam, Yat Shakyam, Tat Vigraha. Vishesha Rupatil, Urjate, Svigarikyan, Sadhikyun Nada, Edo, Ada Vigraha. Whichever can absorb energy that is called Vigraha Visheshena Graha Yidum Yad Shakyam Tat Vigraha Fourth definition Pratishta Pra Chaitanya Vattaya Glorious Tishta Standing Pratishta Whichever is standing with the glory These are the four definitions required for the temple. Fifth definition is Utsavam. You have heard the word Utsavam? Utta is glory. Savam is overflowing. Savam word overflowing. Utsavam, overflowing of Chaitanya, overflowing of energy, or overflowing of glory. These are five words we should think. What we are really doing in the temple we are taking either a stone piece. Is it that we are worshipping a stone piece? Literally speaking, 
the Santri performs the puja 